Welcome to another lesson of the DSC Sport Tuning Academy. Today we'll be showing you how to check and update your firmware version on your DSC Sport controller. Now, you want to start by just downloading the DSC Utility. This is the program that allows you to update the firmware. So we'll go to the dscsport.com website and under Downloads, navigate to Firmware. And you want to download the utility over here in the bottom right. And once that's complete, let's go ahead and unzip that folder. And here we have the DSC utility application that will allow us to update the DSC firmware. And we want to go back to the DSC Sport website and download the firmware version for our vehicle. I'm doing this on a Corvette C7, so I've downloaded that. Again, I'm going to unzip that folder. And now I have this file for updating the firmware, and I'm just going to keep that handy. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually open up the DSC Sport Tuning software. Um, in this case, I really like my PDTS file, so I'm going to read that out of the controller, and I'm going to save that so after I update my firmware, uh, I can reinstall the same PDTS file on my DSC Sport controller. And now I'm just going to save the PDTS file. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now to make it easy for this video. All right, now before we actually update the firmware, it is very important that you do not have the car running while you're doing the update. Uh, it's actually best to just unplug the DSC Sport controller from the car entirely, uh, but if you insist on leaving it plugged in, at least just make sure that the vehicle remains completely off uh, for the remainder of this process. So we've gone ahead and opened up the DSC Sport Utility. Uh, you see I have actually no connection here, uh, so I'm going to just change some of my port settings in the device manager on this computer uh, until I can get this to work. Uh, right now I believe I have it to set to COM3. Uh, I know this computer typically likes to read the DSC Sport controller from COM port 5, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that switch really quick. Uh, if you experience this issue, uh, we do have another video that goes into detail about how to change your COM port settings if you have a connection error. And whenever you change your COM port settings, you always want to exit out of the program, unplug and plug the DSC back in to give it a fresh start. And now I do have connection, so I just hit the Browse button. Uh, I go to my desktop where I have my firmware file in a folder. And we're just going to double click that. Make sure you select Firmware and EEPROM, and then just click Update. And once it begins updating, you'll see this progress bar here. Uh, you just want to wait for that to complete. And once that's finished, you want to make sure you unplug the DSC Sport controller and plug it back in. You want to do a full reset of the board. 
for this firmware in update to take place. Now that we've opened up the software, I'm just going to go to Tools, Test Serial Port, Sit Start, enter the letter V as in Victor or version, hit Send, and here you actually have your firmware version, and you can see that it is uh, the most recent firmware. It's the one that we just installed, uh, so we do know that that took. And now you are all set, and your firmware is updated. If you saved your PBTS file and you want to keep the same one, I would recommend going back 